how do if we if the federal government would come into this because i know that the malaria sector of the ministry of health is a big one yeah. it's a big it's a big one is and it gets budgeted so how would if the federal government will come in how would the um, local governments across the states be carried along okay. to I mean, fight these you know these breeding sites and thereby giving us a malaria free almost society. free society environment okay thank you for that question you see like that's why i said when i was mentioning you said who should be involved i talked about the government yes i talk about individuals mm -hmm. i even talk about the social media now the social media is a platform that you can be here and send information to sensitize yes to sensitize yeah. we can send slide to teach people what to do what to, to do what to look out for mm -hmm. where to go and look out for these things yes. thank god you're here so we're going to have a first hand teaching yes, yes. now, instruction now let me do. shock you do you know that it's not only world malaria day that we have we have we even have mosquito day no. what mosquito day do no. you know why is mosquito really? being celebrated for god's sake I know. <laughs> yes. so you don't know we have one mosquito day and it's celebrated every 20th of august mm. okay but it's not as elaborate as World Malaria Day. Mm. Now, why is that? Why the World Mosquito Day came mm. in place is that it's not actually to celebrate the mosquito per se, yes. mm. but it's to commemorate Dr. Ronald Rhodes that discovered the link between mosquito and malaria mm. and the okay. parasite. Okay. Because it was the one that discovered it in 1897 mm. when. When he discovered it then, in the construction of the Panama City Canal mm. in 1950, 1951, mm. about six, uh, 26,000 workers were there working. And almost, maybe 22, if I can recollect the figures now, fell sick and they nearly died. So they now found out that it's the anopheles mosquito that is breeding there that caused it. So they have to deal with it through what they call vector control. And vector control can still be called lavasiding. It can still be called source reduction. Mm. And they reduce it. Now, the, the World Organization even brought out a kind of a campaign worldwide mm. that they want to eradicate that time is to eradicate mm. malaria worldwide. Mm. And which they did. Mm. And which they did. When they did that, they, 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 they omitted or consciously left Africa. Okay. No. Sub-Saharan Africa, which Nigeria is part of it. Part of it. This culture, they said because of instability of the government, that's one of their reasons. Mm. And we are not a uh, financial contribution from part of the government. Mm. And that's why you see that uh, 